Hi friends, welcome to OFA Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about name inbuilt variable which is available inside a Python. So in Python, name is a special built-in variable that represents the name of the module. So module means a Python file, right? Whatever the Python file name, so that value, it will be represented inside this name built-in variable. So when you are running that Python file or when you are running that module directly, in that case, the value in the name variable will be set as main. But when you import the module in another Python file and when you run that, in that case, the value in the name variable will be set as the module name. Okay. So for example, if you see this screenshot, so here I have SharePoint.py, Python file name. So in this Python file name, I have a function created here and also I have a name inbuilt variable in the if condition. So when I run this SharePoint.py file directly, the value in the name variable will be set to main and the condition will become true and it will make the function call. Whereas if you see this SharePoint2.python file, so here I am importing the SharePoint.python file here as a module and I am executing the same sum function here by referring the function name. In this case, right, the value of this name inbuilt variable will become SharePoint because that is a module name where the name variable is there. If this is confusing, let me explain you that with an example and also let me give a real time example when we use this or why we use this kind of a if condition generally. So let's go back to Visual Studio code. Here I have a sample.python file. Okay. So now in this file, right? So let me comment this code for now. Here I am going to use the print statement, and inside the print statement, I am going to use that name inbuilt variable to print the value. So now let me execute this sample.python file and let's try to okay. So I forgot to save the changes. Now let me run that. And when I see here, if you see it printed value called main, right? So you can clearly see that there. Okay. Let me zoom that once again. So here, okay. So why it printed a value called main? Because the name variable holds the value called main when you directly runs that module or when you directly runs that Python file. Let's do one more thing. So I have one more file called text.python. So here I'm not running anything. I'm simply importing that sample module here. Okay. So let's run this text.python file and observe what will happen. See, I'm executing text.python file. And now if you see here, it printed value called sample. Uh, sample is nothing but like a Python file name or the module name. So why it did that is the moment you run the module indirectly, that means you are not running the Python file directly. You are importing it somewhere and running it. In that case, automatically the name inbuilt variable takes the module name. So it makes sense. So when we are running directly, uh, main will come as a value. And when you run by importing, then module name will come. But what is the use of it? Uh, so to technically understand this, right? So let's do one thing. So I have the sum function inside the module, right? So let me execute this code here. So I am going to make, so I created a module, imagine this way, and which has a lot of functions. I want to give this module to somebody to use it, or I want to give this Python file, right? But I want to test these functions first. So what I did is I am making a function call here and I am printing the value what it is giving back. To do that, I written this line of a code that will make sure me that yes, it is working fine. So now, let me run this sample.python file and see whether it will perform the sum of one and two. And if you see the results here, yes, it did. And we got a value called three here, right? Uh, so I felt, okay, yes, my module is working good. So I gave this module to somebody else to use it. They don't bother about opening the Python file and checking it what is there. Because I tell them use this module directly and use, there is a function called sum and make use of it directly. So what the another person will do in his Python code, that means in the text.py file, so he will do this. So he will simply print 
from the sample module some function maybe he will pass values 5, 4 and 5 and he will expect that it will perform the addition and it will give the it will return the value 9 there so let's see if that will happen so i am running it here text.python file now if you see the results yes i executed a text.python file and return it returned value 9 but what is this 3 from where it came so that another person did the some function call only one time and he was expecting value 9 but uh, surprisingly we see there is something called value 3 as well so why that is coming is the moment you import the module it will import the whole code so it will create the functions and it will also make the function call there so this function call will print the value 3 uh, the another engineer don't know about it so they thought that okay uh, some mistake or some error with the module so they will come to that conclusion see module is not good right so it is always best practice uh, you keep the function calls or the logic implementation whatever you are doing it if your intention is to implement them within the same file use this if condition so that if somebody runs this file directly then only that function calls will happen so in this case if i uncomment this code here if you see here see what i am doing it here so i i am creating a sample module i created a function and uh, i am making the function call here maybe my purpose is to test that but i am keeping that inside the if condition where name inbuilt variable value equals to main so if that matches then only go and make the function call so if this code if i give to somebody else and if they import also when they make the sum function call that time the name inbuilt variable value will become sample so this condition will never true so the function call within the module will never happen so the code will work as intended right so people will be not getting surprised with some unexpected results so they will see whatever their intentions right so whatever they expected the same result will come so let's test this here so sample.python file i am saving it here so let me run sample.python file now and when you see the result we got value 3 which is well and good now the test.python file importing the sample module and here also i am calling the function call for the sum function and because of this if condition i was expecting this print function will never work because the value in the name variable will be sample so automatically i won't see any surprising results so now let me run the test.python file and the moment i ran that if you see the results now i see value only 9 there so that means it works perfectly so if you want to have a control if somebody runs the module directly then only execute is something if somebody importing the module somewhere else then don't run some specific set of rows or specific set of code then please use this if condition with the built-in variable called name that will be super handy for you so i hope you enjoyed this video Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to Ofa Studies YouTube channel for more such useful videos. Thank you.